China has now become way smarter than America. Do you know that China is fifth in the average IQ by country chart with a score of 104.1% while the United States remains at 28 with a score of 97.43%? We're going to shock you even more now. Your earphones and the phone you're using are probably Chinese products. If not the entire phone, the chip must be sourced from there. The furniture that you're the proudest of can be made in China as well. Even your favorite t-shirt, which you hardly ever wear while believing it to be from a well-known brand, is regularly produced in China. Even the sofa you're sitting on could be made in China. So the next time you connect your emotions to an asset, look at the tag. Every company, including Apple, Starbucks, Intel, Tesla, and Old Navy has workers in China. Even the dropshipping business of Kardashians are backed up by the Chinese laborers as well. But how did a country known for poverty in the 1950s become the world's second largest economy? Indeed, according to reports, it may exceed the United States in 2050. So is this possible? Let us reveal every shocking fact about China that you don't know which makes it an emerging giant. China exploited its manpower and established the open door policy in 1978, which enabled it to enjoy 10% greater economic growth on average for several decades. Consider how China's GDP of $178 billion in 1979 has now grown to $19.373 trillion. US dollars. They flipped the tables by changing their vulnerabilities into their greatest assets. Their Made in China project, which they began in 2015, ended up not only eradicating their technology dependence, but also making it one of the world's most well-known exporters. China accounted for more than 19% of the global GDP last year. Amazing, right? Currently, China has broadcasting equipment for $231 billion and an office machine parts market of $101 billion on the global level. If you look at the chart, the majority of its items go to America. But that was just how they grew out of the dark hole. Now, on the side where the entire America was binge-watching Amber Heard and Johnny Depp dramas, the Chinese government was busy making their country stronger. Well, this shows how they ended up bringing 800 million people out of extreme poverty. Remember how the Chinese government took advantage of the oil industry while Russia restricted European nations from delivering oil directly? Bottom line, this Asian country knows how to take advantage even in the worst of circumstances, particularly since the introduction of COVID-19 into the world. China has been working on a cure and has obtained a market monopoly. For a moment, consider student life. On the one hand, American students attend school for six hours each day, whereas Chinese students attend for approximately nine hours per day. But that's only the time they spend in class. Their schoolwork, assignments, and exam preparations for Gekau, the standardized test, added to their study time. In 2019, China began implementing artificial intelligence in their classrooms when the entire American generation was spotted making faces in front of their phones. Simply looking at the Wall Street Journal's news on the subject will bring you to this updated news on Chinese students. Students wear smart headbands that measure their level of focus in the classroom during lectures. There is a light that changes with their concentration level. These gadgets generate reports that are immediately shared with teachers and parents. There are also cameras in the classroom to monitor how often students yawn or check their phones during lectures. This is what we now refer to as a real upgrade. Despite the fear it may bring, it's worth considering the unbelievable impact these students can have. Now, here's a recap of what America was talking about in 2019. Avenger, Endgame, Taylor Swift's Endgame song that was constantly on the trending list, Kylie Jenner becoming a billionaire, BTS, Blackpink, and the release of Old Town Road. Is there something we're missing? Beyonce's homecoming documentary, of course. It's not that America isn't making a difference but it surely isn't matching China's efforts. Now let's take a moment to discuss TikTok. TikTok is currently used by American kids for 87 minutes each day. In actuality, where parents use the phone as a distraction, the figure is far higher. When the trend grew too much for the Chinese, they began to take action by announcing that children would only be allowed to use the app for eight minutes for the entire day. Children under the age of 16 are only permitted to use their phones for more than one hour. The Chinese Cyberspace Administration requested that smart device suppliers install a minor mode program on the phone so that children under age 18 cannot use their phone's internet between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. If that's the country's attitude, imagine how much depression, worry, and dopamine addiction free existence the Chinese kids are living. In 2019,
2019, apps like Billy Billy and Bite Dance, which are famous in China, feature teenage modes on them. Or remember how in 2021, the government put a curfew on Chinese children under the age of 18 from playing video games in Tencent? When compared to Generation X in America, they continue to spend 8 to 12 hours each week on gaming. Now that we've discussed Chinese student life and economic progress, let's move on to their influence in Latin America. The link began in the 16th century with the trading of silk, porcelain, and spices between Mexico and China. Then came coolies, or Chinese immigrant servants, to this portion of the world. Whereas Chinese exports to Latin America accounted for only 2% in 2000, it has since expanded to a $450 billion dollar market in the last few years. According to projections, this will be worth $700 billion by 2035. President Joe Biden even referred to China as a strategic competitor as a result of this. Along with massive loans, infrastructure assistance, and the opening of its smartphone stores, China is also giving Latin America a helping hand with its finances. Imagine having a phone with superior functionality for half the cost of an iPhone. Why would you visit an Apple store? That is exactly what is happening in Latin America right now. There are problems between South and Latin America, which China saw as an opportunity to cross over. And that's how you outsmart your rivals. Enough of the political games. Let us tell you a fact before we move on to the next subject. Do you know that China is so skilled at war games that it has stolen aircraft blueprint ideas such as the F-22 and F-35? Now that we've raised your eyebrows, allow us to explain the next reason we think China is smarter than America. As the saying goes, keep your enemies closer to you than your friends. It appears that China has taken it seriously. Do you know that China brought 370 acres of land in America for more than $700 million? According to the Chinese company Fufeng Group, they've made this investment to now construct a corn milling facility that will directly employ more than 200 people. Why are we telling you about this now? This property is about 12 miles from the Grand Forks Air Force Base. It may take you three hours to travel that far. Moving on, the Chinese military, which is a threat to America's global military strength, has more than 2 million people than the United States. Just add to that, it has more combatants on active service around the world than America does. If you think this wasn't intriguing, they'll quadruple their nuclear capacity by 2035 to catch up to America. It seems like they're leaving no room for anyone else to succeed. Take a moment to consider South China, which is a vital commercial route for both India and Africa. 20 military outposts and fighter jets are currently being deployed by China to monitor local shipping movements. To mask their goal, they created a fake island on coral atolls. Yes, this is exactly the location where Chinese and American navies have jointly bombed several cruise missiles. Moving on to the next, China owns 380,000 acres of land in America, which analysts say could cause problems for the nation. That's equivalent to half of Rhode Island. Even though this represents less than 1% of all American farms, from the standpoint of foreign purchase, it makes up a sizable portion. In addition to giving the Chinese a stronger hold on the American food and energy markets, this will also make life in the nation more difficult in the future years. Even if these assets are owned by Chinese people, they're nonetheless under the communist regime's indirect authority. Do you now believe that China is planning another strategic operation against this agricultural land? Trust us, these are just a few examples of Chinese supremacy compared with America. There are far too many topics to address in a single video. Share any themes you'd like to see us cover in the future. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content we provide. Stay tuned.